Pops it up. Christian Petrarch has got it. And we might be looking for the boo 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 nana. And he has hit the post. What's going on, God Zero Nation? This is our God Zero. We are back with some more AFL Evolution Fantasy Draft Series. Thank you for joining me, as always. Before we get started with this episode, I want to thank you all so much for getting behind this series. I seriously cannot thank you guys enough. This was only supposed to be a placeholder series to kind of tie us over until AFL Evolution 2 came out, which is taking a hell of a lot longer than expected. I'm still hoping it comes out before the finals this year, so... What are we now, nine weeks away? So I'm hoping within the next two months, AFL Evolution 2 drops. But with that being said, looking at the injuries, we've got a clean bill of health. Looking at the tribunal, Jaeger O'Meara is clear to play. So it's time to go to our team lineup and get the J-Bomb back in. We will end up moving Sam Menegola back to the bench because he was the placeholder temporarily. Tim Taranto will be the one that we move off for O'Meara. We're going to keep Jack Graham in. We're going to keep Connor Blakely on the bench as well as a solid backup for the halfback. We we do have, in my opinion, the best drafted team in this competition so far. But having a look at some of the names that Carlton have, Carlton ain't messing around. They've got some pretty good names. Just have a look at this. Brett Delidio, Sam Jacobs in the ruck. They've got Luke Hodge, Jared Lyons, Scott Pendlebury. They've got Redden on the other wing. They've got Jarman Impey. They've got Coniglio. They've got Stephen Hill on the bench. They've got Shannon Hearn at full back. They've got Libertore on the half-back flank. They have a really good lineup. I'm actually very keen to get this match underway. If you guys are keen to see this series play out. Be sure to leave a like on the video like you have been. It goes a long way to supporting the channel. I cannot thank you guys enough, as I've already mentioned. For all the support you've thrown behind this series, I'm going to assume Scott Pendlebury's the captain, which he is. Scott Pendlebury taking on Dustin Martin head-to-head. -head. This is going to be a good match. This is going to be a very good match. I'm already starting to try and plan out things we can do with AFL Evolution 2. I made mention of some of the things we could do in previous episodes. I'm looking at hopefully doing a draft series which involves you guys, the fans, selecting the team for me. So we'll get some votes going with who you think should be the players that we target, and then we will send in the team that we will rename and design as the God Zero Nation and see how they fare against the rest of the teams for a season. However, that's something we can get stuck into when AFL Evolution 2 does finally decide to drop at the moment, we are more focused on Richmond versus Carlton. MCG, beautiful afternoon. Looks like we've got a near packed out stadium as well. There's your beloved Richmond Tigers. As I said, I still feel we've got the best lineup so far. But Carlton coming in, as you're about to see, with some big names. Hooker, Spur, Hearn, Marcus Adams. They've got a solid back line. They've got some solid forwards as well. Jarman Impey might be a bit of a handful. Carlton, not an unfamiliar team by any stretch to the channel. We have taken them to a premiership already with the coach career mode. And you guys have already made your voices heard on a previous video with teams that you would like to see coached next. And I will be saving those for AFL Evolution 2. It gives us a starting point to take those teams and that game straight into the action so stay tuned for when AFL Evolution 2 does drop because you guys effectively have chosen my fate already before the game even drops and I'm very keen to represent the teams you guys have voted for as our Tigers take the field Dustin Martin Scott Pendlebury about to shake hands with the bald-headed flog Matty Nichols be careful guys don't say anything too serious we'll get thrown out of the stadium Scott Pendlebury with the call. They're going to go to the left of screen. That means nothing to us. Jaeger O'Meara getting stuck into them already. I think that's Oscar McDonald. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. 
Max Gorn wins the ruck contest, goes backwards. Richmond with numbers. Dustin Martin gets it out. Handball Diego O'Meara. He's going to take a bounce. He'll take another bounce. He's going to get it off just as he's tackled. Caddy's going to get tackled. No prior opportunity. Ball up just inside Richmond's forward 50. Max Gorn wins the tap. Nobody there for Richmond. Handball off. Dustin Martin's there to shark the pack. Carlton's going to work it out. That's going to be a free kick for a shepherd off the ball, even though he was about to take possession. I seriously don't understand some of these umpire calls, but anyway. Max Gorn's taking it in the middle. Pokes the ball inside 50. Plenty of Tiger numbers there. Kale Hooker takes it uncontested. Moves it back to the middle. Max Gorn using the body. Doherty's there. Gets the handball off to Gorn. He gets tackled. The ball spills out. Kale Hooker's been reported for rough conduct, but no free kick to Richmond. How can there be a report for rough conduct, but no free kick? And that's going to be out of bounds, half forward for Carlton. Luke Hodge comes off for Daniel Wells. Max Gorn winning the contest again. Clayton Oliver's down there. That's going to be holding the ball. Not quick enough. Will Hayward has it. Just inside the centre square. Pokes it inside 50 for Carlton. Taken by Daniel Wells. Fresh off the bench. And he's going to line up for Carlton's first. Which he has pushed to the near left side. Carlton opening up the afternoon score with a behind. Oscar McDonald. Looks to play on. Takes it to the forward 50 line. Zach Tui. Great grab in a contest. Pops it out to the wing. Plenty of Richmond numbers there. It might beat them to the boundary line, however. Carlton's going to get done for deliberate out of bounds. Dustin Martin's got it. He takes on the tackle. He's going to get the handball off to nobody. Dusty's still there. He's going to get it back. No prior opportunity, however. Ball up just shy of half forward for Richmond. Max Gorn wins it. Dusty gets the handball off again. Turns it over. Good tackle there by Dusty. Turnover again. Richmond get the ball. Dustin Martin's got it from 50. He has a shot. And he's put it out on the full. He can't help but get excited every time Dusty's got it. But Luke Bruce, he's going to line up for Richmond's first. He has shot that kick sideways, but Charlie Kerno's got it. And he's going to make no doubt. Charlie Kerno opens up Richmond's score. With a major, and another major to his tally, currently winning the Coleman race. One straight six, plays one behind one, Richmond by five points. Richmond work it out by hand. Carlton take a grab. Handball on. Chipping ball, finds Brandon Archie. Inside 50, Jarman Impey. Might be too far for him, I reckon. He's had a shot anyway. And he has put it through. Carlton back in front by a point. Jarman Impey goes bang from outside 50. One goal, six plays, 1-1-7. One, one, Carlton by one. Plenty of Richmond numbers around the ball. Carlton, however, they go long to the goal square. That's going to be holding the ball. Jake Lloyd, why'd you play on? It's okay because Jarman Impey's hit the post from point blank range. They take a two point lead. Good body work there. Jaeger O'Meara looks to move the ball into the center. That's going to be a free kick against Max Gorn. And a 50. Turned over to Zach Tui. Smothered ball by Carlton. They're going to hit the top of the 50. Jarman Impey again. I did say he might get off the chain this game. Chipping ball inside, he has found Will Hayward. And this is going to be the last shot of the quarter. And he has put that through the middle. He's made no doubt about that kick. Carlton heading into the first break with an eight-point lead. A position Richmond have found themselves in a few times so far in this series, but we have seen... Richmond have the ability to bounce back from some very big deficits.
Dustin Martin's already had the five. Kale Hooker has had four for Carlton. Charlie Curnow, the single goal kicker for Richmond in that quarter. We're going to need them to lift in this turn. Matty Nichols balls it up. Max Gorn wins the tap again. Big turnover there by Carlton. By hand. Dustin Martin's there to shark it. Luke Bruce is there. He's going to get pushed in the back. Luke Bruce gets the handball off to Dusty. Dusty from 50. It's going to get marked. Good body work there by Brayshaw. He's going to pop it to the top of the square. Plenty of numbers around that ball. Caddy's got it. Hip and shouldered. Hip and shouldered again. Caddy's copying an absolute beating here. Jaeger O'Meara hip and shoulders. Brett Delidio onto the ball. Brendan Archie's got it. Moves it to the top of the 50 for Carlton. Turns it over to Jake Lloyd. He sends it back in the Jordan Dugowie direction. He takes it clean. Inside. Bruce! Luke Bruce! Pops it up. Christian Petrarca's got it. And we might be looking for the boo 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 na na. And he has hit the post. Ladies and gentlemen, we get excited here on the channel whenever somebody ups to go for the boo na na. Heaney's got it. Handball off. Kerno gets it off to Caddy. Caddy puts it through. Angus Brayshaw in the meantime has been injured. I'll keep you updated with that. But Richmond stemming it back. 2-1-13, 2-2-14. Carlton by the single point. Tom Mitchell puts it up in the direction of Kerno. That's going to beat him to the boundary line, I think. Throw in deep inside Richmond's forward 50. Can Max Gorn get it down? No, he cannot. He's not even going to compete in the contest. Handball off. No prior opportunity. Ball up again. Max Gorn will make sure of this one. Throwing the ball against Sam Jacobs. Max Gorn. He's going to have a shot. He doesn't have many shots on goal, big Max Gorn. He's accounted for the wind a little too much there. However, we are now back to a tied ball game. Brett Lidio has it. Chips it to the back line. He finds Lee Spur. Lee Spur back inside defensive 50. Kale Hooker. I don't think that was 15. Moves it on long. Bounces to half forward. Good body work there again by Jake Lloyd. It's going to beat them to the boundary line. Throw in half forward. Carlton's end. We need to stem the flow here. They've been good around this area. Richmond with the numbers, move it to half forward. They've got plenty there. They find Josh Caddy. Josh Caddy's looking for Kerno. And he's going to miss him. Hearn wearing him like a glove. Caddy's going to be pushed in the back. He's going to line up for his second. And he is not going to miss. He's going to make sure of it. The Caddy Shack is open, ladies and gentlemen. He's kicked two. 3-2-20. 2-2-14, Richmond by six points. Carlton move it out. Stephen Coniglio's got it. Inside 50. It's going to beat them to the boundary line. Throw in. Half forward. Carlton's end. Max Gorn's gotten the better of Sam Jacobs in this contest. No prior opportunity. Sam Jacobs winning that one. They go backwards with the handball and turn it over. Carlton's got it. Has a shot on goal. That's going to miss Luke Hodge. Oscar McDonald looking to bring it in. Goes straight up the middle. Plenty of Richmond numbers there. Taken by Big Maxi Gorn. He might look to just go long here. He's going to move it out sideways. He's found Connor Blakely. Who's come on. For Brayshaw. Dustin Martin's there. They're starting to play possession football, Richmond. Dusty thought Heaney was on. He was wrong. Scott Penderbury's got it on the wing. Moves it in. Taken by Dusty. That's going to be half time. 
Richmond turning it around, leading by five points into the main break. Very good quarter by Richmond. Dustin Martin out to eight possessions. Luke Hodge now leading the way for Carlton with six. Josh Caddy, the only multiple goal kicker on the field. He's got two. Kerno still with the one. Still anybody's ball game from this point. Only five points the margin. Gorn wins the tap down. Going to be a ball up. No prior opportunity. We've got to get a couple more for, more for Kerno. We've got to make sure he wraps up that Coleman. Couple of goals a game. That's what we're looking for. Richmond's got plenty of numbers there. Zach Tui's injured and been done throwing the ball. No advantage paid. Scott Penderbury's got it. Chips it just inside. Turned over to Sam Doherty. Pillar of strength in defense. Heaney's going to take it on the chest. He's going to take him on. He's going to go inside 50. Kerno direction. Hearn taps it down. Caddy's there. Handball off. Throwing the ball. Kerno was running into an open goal square and he gets pinned for holding the ball. Or throwing the ball. Whatever you want to call it. He got done for it, ladies and gentlemen. Jaeger Amir is there. Nobody to get it to. Luke Bruce taps it on. Richmond now with numbers around the ball. Handball on. Back to Bruce. Out on the full. And Yago O'Meara is now injured. That looks like it could be serious. However, Connor Blakely coming on. That does mean Angus Brayshaw's injury wasn't as bad as we thought. And he is on the field somewhere at this point in time. So that's good news. Connor Blakely's taken it. He takes the man on. Sets it to the top of the goal square. Petrarca's there. Off hands. Lays the tackle. Kerno lays the tackle. Heaney shaken off. Carlton are going to work it out here. The forward pressure from Richmond, absolutely incredible. Berto Lidio has it at half back. Moves it on. He's found Luke Hodge. Inside the center square, Scott Pendlebury's got it. Pops it in just inside 50. He's found Will Hayward, who's taken it just outside the 50. Goes a little bit backwards. He's got Brendan Archie. And he's on back to Will Hayward. Don't know whether he's within range. He was within range. He is going to miss it, however. Carlton trailing by four points. Big roost there by Oscar McDonald. The race is on. Heaney handballs it to nobody in particular. Dusty's there. Gets it back off. Dusty's now injured. What the hell is happening? Just go off the deck. Go off the deck. Oh, he's managed to bend it in, Kerno. I thought he was going to hit the post. But Charlie Kerno's now got two. Richmond back out to a 10-point lead. Carlton work it out by hand. Turn it over, however. Tom Mitchell sharking the ball. Gets it off. Caddy's there. Chases down his man. He might get possession. He does. He gets the handball off. No prior opportunity. It's going to be a ball up. Max Gorn winning the contest yet again. Richmond with plenty of numbers around the ball. Can they work it out? Shot on goal is good. Jordan Degoe take a bow. He slots through his first. He hasn't had many opportunities this season, but that was a great shot. Caddy gets it off. Jack Graham takes a couple of bounces. He's going to set it up. Kerno's down there. Hearn's got it again. But Bruce, Luke Bruce, takes the man on. And he's going to go dribbles, and he's hit the post. Ho, 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 ho. I know someone who's not going to be happy. His name... Is Jason Dunstall. Mate, you're going to be in the dribble file. Don't you worry about that. Snap on. That might go out the full. That has gone out the full. Jordan Degoe. Getting a little bit of it, Jordan. I thought that had Bruce name written all over it, but Spurs got it. That's going to be three-quarter time. 
Richmond leading Carlton by 17 points. They call that the Premiership quarter. Richmond dominating in all aspects that time around. Dustin Martin getting around the boys. He's out to... He's only had the eight. He didn't have many touches there. But Jordan Dugowie getting off the chain in that quarter. He's up to seven. Kale Hooker and Luke Hodge have both had nine for Carlton. Final quarter underway. Max Gorn wins the tap down. Josh Caddy manages to get the ball off. Tom Mitchell kicks it forward. There's still plenty of Richmond numbers around that ball. Handball backwards. Carlton taps it backwards. Come on, Richmond. Get the ball out. Carlton have worked it out here quite easily. Out to the wing. Stephen Coniglio with plenty of space. Chips it up forward. He's found Scott Pendlebury. He's had a big game, Pendlebury. Inside 50, Will Hayward will line up for another shot on goal. And he's made sure of that one. Carlton still breathing some life. He's kicked two. It's back to an 11-point ball game. 5-3, 33-3-4-22. Dusty gets it off as he's tackled. Jaeger Amira, you got to mark those. Delidio inside 50 for Carlton. Off hands. Plenty of Richmond defenders around the ball. That's going to be a push in the back. Tom Stewart is now injured. This game has been nothing but carnage. Nothing but carnage at all. The good thing is, when the players have been injured... They have managed to come back onto the field. Toby Nankervis now having to play a defensive game. Because we've already got Connor Blakely out on the field. Josh Caddy's got it. Good pass there by Dusty. Caddy's looking for Bruce. He's got him. Luke Bruce. Bruce is thinking of going to Kerno. He does in the pocket. It's going to get to the boundary line beforehand however very unselfish football by Richmond tap down snap on can we get a good bounce no we cannot Clayton Oliver kicks it behind Hearn looking to bring it in for Carlton tapped it to himself chipping ball over the top he's found Lee Spur Lee Spur goes out turned over to Jordan Dugowie he's had a good game ladies and gentlemen At this point in time, all he's going to do is pop it up. Caddy's got it. Handballs it over the top. Oh, that's going to be holding the ball, surely. Off the deck by Kerno. He's hit the post. Not happy with his effort there, but still having a big game, Kerno. Lee Spur again taking it defensively. Chips it up to half back. He's turned it over to Isaac Heaney. He's going to go back and have a ping. Heaney from outside 50. Isaac Heaney, take a bow. That was impressive. The young Richmond players are really standing up in this game. Heaney and Dugowie, two players we haven't heard much of in this series so far. Gorn gets it to Caddy. Caddy puts it to the top of the goal square. Off hands. Oh, Bruce! Luke Bruce! He's special. He's kicked his first. Richmond out by 25. The floodgates have opened. Dusty's got it. Handball off. Going to get done for a high tackle. He's going to take the man on. No, he's going to get the handball off. Smart move there by Dusty. Up to Josh Caddy. Off hands. He should have taken that clean. Carlton go off the deck. Plenty of Richmond numbers around this ball. They've turned it over to Carlton here. Chipping ball inside. Jake Lloyd has taken it. Smothered ball. Don't want to concede another one here, Richmond. Dan Curvis has it. Handball off. Thank God he got done for a high tackle because that was another turnover. Caddy with a hip and shoulder. Caddy with the handball over the top. Looking for Bruce. Doesn't get him. Caddy's got it. That's the final siren. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Richmond continue their undefeated streak. Very hard fought game up until that final moment when Richmond just started putting them together on the scoreboard. What a game. Jordan Dugowie standing up, Isaac Heaney standing up, Dustin Martin doing Dustin Martin things. But there were some big plays by some of those blue boys as well. We'll find out who did get best on ground shortly, but that's going to wrap up this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me as always. If you have been enjoying this on the channel, go ahead and leave a like on the video. It goes a long way to supporting myself. And I cannot thank you guys enough for all that support. Dusty had 11. Josh Caddy kicked 2 with 9. And Brett Delidio and Will Hayward managed to get best 2 with Luke Bruce slotting in for 3rd. I still don't know how they work out these, this voting system. I really don't. If you're new to the channel, plenty of other content to check out. I urge you to do so. And if you enjoy what I'm throwing down, get on board the God Zero Nation by hitting that subscribe button. Social media links are down below. You can hit me up on each and every one of those, including my new Discord. Make sure you go check that out. Hit that notification bell before you leave as well, ladies and gentlemen, so every single time a brand new video hits the channel, you guys get notified straight away. But that's it from me, guys. I'm out of here, and as always, I will catch you guys next time.